Hey there and welcome back to Coffin's Creation. Let's make some fudgy chocolate walnut fudge. This fudge has a soft velvety texture and the crunchiness of the walnuts. This is so rich and delicious that you can easily make it at home and enjoy any time of the year. You'll find the detailed recipe in grams and in cups in the description box below and the comments too. So let's start with the recipe. So let's take a look at all the ingredients. Here I have taken 125 grams that is 7 tablespoons of grain sugar. Next I have taken a small can of condensed milk. That is a 200 gram small condensed milk tin. It is almost 3 fourth of a cup. I have also taken 1 cup of chopped walnuts. This is almost 100 grams. We will also be using 1 teaspoon of vanilla essence, 1 tablespoon of cocoa powder. You can use any cocoa powder of your choice. I have also taken 1 and half tablespoon of butter and a pinch of salt to get all the flavors together. So we will start by adding all the ingredients into a vessel. Add the condensed milk. You can use any brand of condensed milk or even homemade We'll also be adding half a cup of water into this so that the sugar dissolves. Next add the sugar and just give it a mix. Into this we will also be adding the salt, vanilla essence and the cocoa powder too. For this recipe here today we will not be using any chocolate slabs. So that's why we are using cocoa powder and sugar. So I'll just give this a little mix so that the cocoa powder dissolves a little in this mixture. And now we'll just place this on a gas stove. I've kept the flame on medium and we'll need to stir this continuously. The total stirring time will be around 15 to 20 minutes. So as you keep stirring, the cocoa powder too will get completely dissolved and the sugar too will get melted. So do keep scraping the sides as well and the bottom too as this can stick easily to the bottom of the pan. Now slowly the mixture starts to boil and it starts bubbling. The sugar too is melted and the mixture will start thickening up now. This fudge recipe is so easy to make and so delicious to taste too. You can include this delicious fudge into your gift hampers. You can also use them for exchanging gifts, for birthday parties, gatherings, potlucks and also for satisfying your own sweet cravings. So watch till the end as I show you how you can pack these as well. As you can see now, as I kept stirring continuously, the mixture is thickened up. We'll add the butter now into it and mix it as well. This butter will add a nice velvety texture to this fudge. The mixture will start thickening up even more. Do keep scraping the sides and the below of the pan too as the mixture settles down and it might get burnt too. I have been stirring continuously on medium flame and the mixture now is even more thicker. So the total stirring time for me on medium flame took me around 15 minutes. Now we will just check the mixture by pouring some of it into a bowl of water. This is room temperature water. You can keep the flame on slow now while you do this test. To know where the fudge is done, the mixture should form a soft ball when placed in the water. It should not dissolve completely into the water. So this is a nice soft ball. So you can continue stirring this for another minute too. So I'll just mix this for another minute and then I'll be adding the chopped walnuts. In place of walnuts you could also use cashew nuts or even almonds. So now we'll just mix this well and just stir it for a few seconds and a delicious fudge will be ready to be set. So now this fudge is ready. We can just switch off the flame and we'll just pour it into a container. So to set the fudge, we can use a baking tin like this lined with some parchment paper and just grease it with some butter or oil. But today I'll be using this rectangular steel ring. You can use this for setting mitais or even for baking some breads in the oven. I'll put the link for this too in the description box below. So I'll just grease the inner side of this with some butter. 
If you do not have this ring, you can set the fudge in any rectangular cake tin. So now I'll just place this over a cling wrap. And now we will just pour in the mixture inside it and level it up. There is one tip here. It's better to grease and keep this pan ready before we could start with the recipe. As soon as your fudge is ready, you just need to pour it into your prepared cake pan. So I will just level up this and add some walnuts over it. While using such ring trays, it's better to place it over a tray so it's easy to move it around. In a hurry, I forgot to put the tray down. So I let it set here on the table itself for some time and then I put it into the fridge to set further. So once this fudge comes to room temperature, you can place it in the fridge to set further and get a little firm. A year later, I had placed it over the tray and then kept it in the fridge to set soon. So now, after keeping it in the fridge, we can just unmold it by running a knife through all the four sides. This fudge can be had even without setting it into a mold. Just like the fudges which you get at hill stations which are not set in any molds and are just sold loose like a soft mixture. If you have set the fudge in a baking tray, you can just release the baking paper and then cut it into pieces. This fudge remains good for 4 to 5 days at room temperature and 2 to 3 weeks in the fridge. If the fudge is kept at room temperature for many days, it tends to get a little bit soft. If you want to extend the shelf life of this fudge, it's best to keep it in the fridge for more days. You can cut this fudge into any size of your choice. And our chocolatey, fudgy, walnut fudge is ready. So if you are looking out for a rich dessert recipe, do try this chocolatey walnut fudge recipe. You will love the creamy texture along with the crunchiness of the walnuts. So I hope you will try this recipe soon and leave your feedbacks in the comments below. If you want to gift wrap these fudge, you can just place them in these brownie containers. These are the paper ones which you just need to fold it and place the fudge into it. You can also place them into the small plastic brownie containers you get. And you can just put it into a cookie pouch or a plastic bag and tie it with a ribbon. So I hope you too will be trying this recipe soon. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you do subscribe to Garf Inspiration if you love more such of these recipes. I'll see you soon again in the next recipe. Till then keep watching and take care. Bye bye.